From the Attraction Network, I'm Philip, and we're here at the Los Angeles on a Hayride in Griffith Park. Today, we're going to speak with the owner, Chris Stafford, about the journey to create this year's event and a little bit about what he has planned for the future expansions of the Hayride here in Griffith Park. So we are here at Los Angeles Haunted Hayride 2022. Lots of fan favorites back this year, of course, the Hayride itself, but in addition to Hayride, there's three mazes here. There is Midnight Mortuary Evil Earth, there is Trick or Treat, and there is Slaughterhouse or Laughter House, depending upon how you want to say it. But And that's our new maze here for 2022. So Slaughterhouse or Laughter House is basically a pretty visceral experience. You got your traditional Slaughterhouse, but now it's been overrun with clowns from a defunct carnival that broke down on the side of Midnight Falls. The Los Angeles Haunted Hayride is, is super unique because yeah. really we're able to transport you to New England during the Halloween season, but you're smack dab in the middle of Los Angeles in Griffith Park. And it, just the feel that you get when you come out here is like fall in New England and just an amazing feeling that you get that you can't get many other places, especially in Los Angeles. Since we created the town of Midnight Falls, everything that we've been doing with Hayride since then revolves around that town. Yeah. So every time we add a new feature or a new attraction, it's gonna revolve around some character that might be from that town or a business that might be from that town. And we wanna keep kind of growing that story in that, in that world because at the end of the day, in October, when people are going out to have fun for Halloween, it's all about being transported to a different place. And that's really what we're trying to recreate here. I think. One of the most unique things this year is one of the most popular characters has become Herschel the Ice Cream Man. And he's been popular for years here. And you know, going into this year's planning, I was like, well, why wouldn't Herschel have an ice cream store in Midnight Falls? We have the Ice Cream Man. Yeah. So now you get a picture with Herschel and his ice cream truck. And right next to it is Herschel's ice cream. You can actually buy ice cream from Herschel now. We all go to an event and we can buy an ice cream cone, but who can say they bought an ice cream cone from a crazy clown character in Midnight Falls. As far as the future of haunted attractions, I'm not entirely sure that, that this model is the future. I still think people like all different types of entertainment. People like it because it gives them a night out, it gives them an evening out with their family and friends and time to catch up and not just experience the entertainment. But I also think that there's people that crave more intimate, smaller experiences that are more in depth and maybe maybe even a little more immersive, you know? And I don't know that the traditional haunted house is ever going away. I think it's a lot easier to do higher detailed and more immersive environments in those types of setting. So I don't see that as going away. I, I just think that the future is bright all around for Halloween attractions regardless what type they are. If you look at our portfolio and our business, you'll see all different types, you know, from the festival type event to warehouse haunted house to even now some more deeper immersive experiences that we're experimenting with. 